Report. 10th of Hearthfire, 4th Era 201. Be advised. Skyrim grows restless. Trouble stirs in every corner. Agents across the province have reported multiple individuals and happenings that may prove useful or ruinous. It is yet too early to tell which. Two of the individuals in question have appeared in our interests before, the first being a certain enchanter from the College of Whispers. Reports of his last month of his intent to travel north on the pretext of aiding the excavation of Sarthol. Supposedly, he took part in an investigation in Bruma, during which Agent Armion was able to observe his demeanor before the mage crossed the border into Skyrim. He went dark for several days before an Imperial report cited him on the run from Falkreath to Solitude. Reports from our ambassador at the College of Winterhold confirm that he is now in possession of an artifact, the properties of which we are not yet familiar. This same ambassador also reports the mage's part in unearthing an ancient orb. He has yet to provide any further details. Another odd report comes to us out of Riften. I personally am not yet sure whether to be alarmed by it or not. A Khajiit of diminutive stature has been seen talking to a known member of the Thieves' Guild. Ordinarily, this would not be an issue, but this same Khajiit has now teamed up with two others, one of whom she broke out of Riften's prison. They have been notoriously difficult to pin down. The small one moves faster than any courier I have yet dispatched or seen, save one. This team vexes me. The movements are erratic, appearing in places I would not expect them to be, staying for varying lengths of time before departing once again. All that is for certain is that their trails always lead back to Riften, and that Maven Blackbriar has taken interest. The best course of action, for now, is distance. We should perhaps turn our attention to a much larger thorn in our side. Our western side, specifically. All along the border, things have fallen out of place. Northwatch Keep suffered as many casualties as there were soldiers posted, including the interrogator. We can only assume the Stormcloaks were to blame, as the prisoner on trial, Thorold Greymane, escaped in the fray. To the south in Markarth, the Forsworn have begun to panic. They stir like a prodded wasp nest, thanks to the death of their leader. A death which came at the hands of an elderly Nordwoman, briefly imprisoned for her attempts at an investigation. We do not yet know what happened in Sidna Mine, nor what power she had over the Forsworn. She was last seen for certain in Whiterun among the Companions. Perhaps that is where she stayed. A brief mention should be made of the new Thane of Whiterun. A Redguard, previously sentenced to death for crossing the border from Hammerfell without observing the proper procedures. She was one of those who the Imperials tried to preemptively execute at Helgen before the incident. I make mention of this new Thane not because of the fact that she survived such an ordeal, but because of what the Nords call her. Dragonborn. This gives me pause. The girl is as strong as she is cunning, possessing the power to kill a dragon and the wit to outmaneuver a noble from her own province. She also now carries a title that the Nords rally behind. While not all, in fact very few, truly believe in this Dragonborn, she is still worthy of observation. She studies with the Greybeards, and I personally fear what will come of that. Finally, we have word of the deserter. The report from Agent Sanyan was correct. With this case, we must proceed with the utmost caution, as all attempts to apprehend him thus far have ended fruitless and in casualty. The agent that reported his whereabouts was found dead at the Shrine of Talos, appearing to the uneducated observer to have been beaten to death by the priest to lay nearby. One interrogator supposedly detained the deserter in Mistwatch after it was found abandoned, but all inside were later found dead and he was nowhere to be found. Rumor has it that he was recently seen in Markarth, but those rumors should not be trusted without evidence. We don't know how he's operating in Skyrim without detection, nor whether he has allies here. The deserter must be brought to justice. A request for aid will be filed. By my hand and seal, 